चैप्टर टू ऑफ द रिलेवेंसी ऑफ फैक्ट सेक्शन फाइव टू फिफ्टी फाइव इन द केस ऑफ मर्डर ए ऑफ बी विच फैक्ट्स आर रेलिवेंट्स डैट ए लिफ्ट इमिडिएटली द प्लेस ऑफ क्राइम बिफोर पुलिस रिस्ट डैट ए टोल्ड हिज फ्रेंड अबाउट taking revenge for his father's death that a was seen fleeing with knife immediately after the murder of b which one of the following statement is not true according to section 5 of evidence act evidence may be given in any suit or proceeding of the those fact which the parties think are relevant only such fact are made relevant by evidence act as it encompassed by section 5 to 55 of evidence act a tried for the murder of b by beating with a club with the intention of causing a death at a's trial which one of the following is not fact in issue a contravention of c which one of the following section of the evidence act given the fact in issue section 5 which one of the following section of evidence act 1872 provides that evidence may be given of fact in issue or relevant fact section 5 which one of the following statement are correct fact forming part of same transaction are facts which are connected with other fact on the basis of time place object party acts or omission the case of sawal das versus state is related to rule of race gesture a is accused of waging war against the government of india by taking part in the armed insurrection which property is to in which property is destroyed troops are attacking and goals are broken open e is not present at all of them yet occurrence of these facts is relevant because they form the part of general transaction a wife had only seen speeding vehicle which has crushed the husband at little distance she had not seen the accident herself the husband died of heart attack a day later can wife evidence be taken on what the injured husband said to her after the accident yes it is it being a part of rest just a is accused of murder of b by beating him what is not admissible as evidence e is a man of bad character which one of the following statement is correct a struck b on the neck with a knife and this was seen by c who exclaimed a is killing b c has claimed is relevant because it is form part of the transaction under which one of the following section of indian evidence act doctrine of res gestae has been dealt section 6 at the which section of indian evidence act principle of res gestae is given section 6 fact forming part of the same transaction is known as res gestae criteria for res gestae is proximity of time and place community of purpose community continuity of action the term res gestae is equivalent to the fact mentioned in section 6 of evidence act it implies things done in course of transaction fact in issue surrounded circumstances act taking for themselves under which one of the following provision of indian evidence act word forming part of same transaction occurs section 
a fact is relevant if it is connected with fact in issue so as to form a part of the same transaction the fact from which a part of same transaction are relevant section 6 of evidence act rule of literis gestae which means fact forming the part of same transaction which is the fact in issue is discussed in section 6 under indian evidence act 1872 rule of res gestae is applicable in civil as well as criminal cases fact which though is not in issue are so connected with fact in issue as to form of the same transaction whether they occur at the same time and place or at different times and place are relevant under indian evidence act 1872 true relevancy of fact forming a part of same transaction has been disclosed in section 6 under indian evidence act 1872 doctrine of res gestae applies to only civil proceeding only criminal proceeding under which one of the following provision of indian evidence act word forming part of same transaction occur under section 6 is death is caused due to negligence driving of b in the word forming part of same transaction occur the fact that b was a habit of driving negligent the fact though not in issue are so connected with the fact in issue at forming the part of same transaction are relevant under section 6 rule of res gestae under section 6 the question is whether a committed a crime at kolkata on a certain day the fact that on that day a was at chennai is relevant as it make existence of the fact highly improbable the english doctrine of res gestae has been placed in india and has been incorporated under section 6 of indian evidence act 1872 fact which form a part of same transaction are relevant under section 6 of evidence act section 6 several set of fact which connected with the same transaction in a particular mode are relevant under section 6 of evidence act fact which do not in issue are so connected with fact in issue as to form a part of same transaction whether they occur at same time and place and at different time and place are relevant relevancy of fact forming the same transaction from a part of dash of evidence act section 6 evidence act raised this is a exception to the hearsay rule in which one of the following cases hearsay evidence is not admissible where i witness told by told the fact to the another person statement of that person which one of the following statement is correct in a trial a for murder of b mark on the ground and produced by struggle at near one place of murder is a fact as the occasion caused the effect of the fact in issue telling his wife that peace wife had called him receiving payment due to him k leave his house after two days his this remembered body is found in the trunk in peace trial for murder k the statement made by k to his wife is admissible as relate to the circumstances of the transaction which resulted to k death a is tried for white and provided to have marched as a herd of mob the cries of the mob are relevant as explanatory of occasion cause effect of fact the section 7 of evidence act does not include which one of the following purpose 
x u y for the damage done by the dog of y which y knew the previous the fact that dog had previously beaten a b c r relevant the question is whether a murdered b during the course of struggle mark on the ground produced by the struggle at place of occurrence is relevant fact under which one of the following section of evidence act section 7 the question before the court whether document x is will of a which one of the following is relevant a had a consulted advocate in the reference of making a will a had cursed draft of will to prepared of which he did not approve a had to inquire to the value of estate which he has bequested. Section 14 of Evidence Act make relevancy relevant of the fact which show the existence of either state of mind, body or bodily feeling. A is tried for the right and provided to have mar marched to head of a mob. The cries of the mobs are relevant and explanatory as to the nature of transaction. Which one of the following statement is not relevant in the case of A tried for murder? That A is a man of bad character. A had tried for murder of B. The fact and mark of the ground is produced by struggle at near the place where murder was committed are relevant fact the illustration of fact and occasion cause or effect of the fact in issue the question is whether a was ravished the fact that without making a complaint c said that she had been ravished is not relevant as conduct to what fact and following rule of relevancy has discussed under section 8 of Indian Evidence Act? Motive, preparation, previous or subsequent conduct. Question is whether A was robbed. The fact that he said he had been robbed without making any complaint make, may be relevant under section 32 or 150, section 157 of Evidence Act. Which one of the following statement is true? A is tried for murder of B. There is evidence of the fact that B prosecuted A for libel and that A was convicted the sentence. The judgment is relevant under section 8 as shown as a motive for the murder of B. The question is whether A on B rupees 10,000 the fact that A asked to C to lend him money and D said to C in the presence of the hearing I advise you not to trust A for he owned B rupees 10,000 and that A went away without making any answer is a relevant fact In section 8 of Indian Evidence Act, which one of the following is made relevant? Motive, preparation and conduct. Under section 8 of Indian Evidence Act, motive is relevant, preparation is relevant, conduct is relevant. To what fact the following rules of relevancy that have been discussed under section 8 of Indian Evidence Act? Motive, preparation preparation previous and subsequent conduct the conduct to be relevant under section 8 of indian evidence acts as it may be either previous or subsequent the question is whether a was ravaged and therefore murdered the fact that without making complainant c said that c has been ravaged may be relevant under section 32 or 157 of evidence act a is tried of murder of b by administering potassium cyanide 
द फैक्ट डेट ए परचेज पोटासियम साइनाइड जस्ट बिफोर द मर्डर ऑफ बी इज रेलिवेंट अंडर सेक्शन एट द क्वेश्चन इज दिस वेदर ए वॉज रेप्ड एंड मर्डर द फैक्ट डैट शी वॉज विदाउट मेकिंग कंप्लेंट डैट शी वॉज रेप्ड कैन बी रिलिवेंट अंडर सेक्शन थर्टी टू क्लॉज वन एंड सेक्शन वन फिफ्टी सेवन ऑफ एविडेंस एक्ट द क्वेश्चन इज वेदर ए वॉज रेविस्ड द फैक्ट डैट विदाउट मेकिंग कंप्लेंट सी सेड डैट he has been ravished is not relevant as conduct queen empress versus abdullah is related to which one of the following under section 8 of indian evidence act conduct a is tried for the murder of b by poison the fact that before the death of b A produced poison similar to that which was administered to B is relevant. Which one of the following is not inclusive under Section Eight of Indian Evidence Act for relevancy? Intention. Which one of the following would not be relevant in Indian Evidence Act under Section Eight of Indian Evidence Act? Evidence of a statement as to the act of robbery. without making any complaint to what fact of the following rules of relevancy has been discussed in section 8 of indian evidence act motive preparation previous and subsequent conduct under section 8 of indian evidence act motive preparation and conduct is relevant Which one of the following is not relevant under Section Eight of Indian Evidence Act? Occasion. To what fact that the following rule of relevancy has been discussed under Section Eight of Indian Evidence Act? Motive, preparation, conduct. Provision related to estoppel are given in Section Chapter Eight of Evidence Act. A is accused of B's mother murder. Which one of the following is relevant fact? A is going to field. A is going to field with the club. A is saying shortly before the incident that he will take revenge of his father's death. A fleeing before the police. A is fleeing before the police arrived at village. motive preparation and previous and subsequent co- conduct is covered under dash section 8 question is whether a was raped and murdered the fact that c has without making complaint that she was raped can be relevant under section 32 clause 1 and 157 of indian evidence act a sub for liable imputing disgrace conduct to a B affirmed that matter at least to be libelous is true. The position and relation of the parties at the time when the libel was published made be relevant is introductory as to the fact in issue. Who can identify? Who can take identification? Fred, police officer. I identification Fred is relevant under. Section nine of Indian Evidence Act. T I Pred is a corroborative evidence. Identification of accused person is related to which one of the following section of Evidence Act? Section nine. Rule relating to identification Pred is contained in which one of the following section of Evidence Act? Section nine. T I Pred is con. Conducted during the investigation in the case of admission in evidence under which one of the following of the Evidence Act, Section Nine, to ensure the fairness and accuracy of T I Pred, the requirement is preding person of a same same or similar physical appearance along with the suspect. under indian evidence act the fact of identification practice relevant under 
section 9 ti prayed under section 9 of evidence act should be taken by whom magistrate police officer not below the rank of some suspected all person wrong please below the uh, rank not police officer not below the rank of sub inspector during investigation by police officer under direction of magistrate on complaint of a alleging criminal misappropriation of diamond ring by b a produced an invoice evidencing his title of property the invoice or oh, is found during the investigation to be fabricated one closer report of magistrate to cognizance and summoned a to face trial on charge of fabricating false evidence the contention of a are the document invoice which is not give the judicial proceeding the police officer has not made a complainant both a and b are incorrect The Indian Evidence Act declared that anything said, done, or written by one of the conspirators is relevant to prove conspiracy. If it was in reference to their common intention. Which one of the following is not correct for relevancy of evidence to prove conspiracy? It can also be used in favor of other party or for the purpose of showing that such a person was not a party to the conspiracy. Which one of the following fact are relevant under section 10 of Indian Evidence Act? Those fact from which inference of conspiracy can be traced things said or done by conspirator in the reference of common design is the relevant fact under which one of the following evidence section 10 he is accused of waging war waging a war against the government of india by taking part in armed insurrection in which property is destroyed troop are attacked attacked and jail is broken open he is not present at all of them yet occurrence of this fact are relevant because they are form part of single transaction reasonable ground exist believing that a has joined conspiracy to waging war against the government the the a of india government of india but he only no b who has procured armed and explosive in pakistan for the purpose of conspiracy which one of the following is not relevant to prove a complicity in it c collected money in kolkata for like object a and b are jointly tried for murder of c confession of b recorded long after the murder alleging committed in the pursuance of conspiracy would be admissible in evidence under section 30 under the evidence act anything said or done or written by conspirator when the conspiracy is a foot is relevant against the conspirator on the basis of the doctrine of agency A is accused of murder of B by pistol alleging that purchased on 15 September at Dehradun A make a statement of 15 September he was at Lucknow not at Dehradun A's statement is a relevant fact under section 11 clause 2 the question is whether A committed a crime at kolkata on a certain date that fact the fact at on that date a was that lahore is relevant as it make existence of fact is highly 
issue improvable fact not otherwise relevant became relevant if they are inconsistent making highly probable and improbable of fact in issue or a relevant fact relevant under section 11 of evidence act which one of the following statement is correct the alibi under section 11 of indian evidence act 1872 is decided on the basis of preponderance of highly higher probability or improbability as well as beyond the reasonable doubt fact are not otherwise relevant are relevant if they are inconsistent with uh, any fact in issue or relevant fact which one of the following section of indian evidence act contain a foresaid principle of law section 11 The question is whether A committed a murder of person on a particular day of at Calcutta. The fact that on that day A was at Lahore is relevant. Which one of the following section of Indian Evidence Act provided the provision of plea of alibi? Section 11. The plea of alibi established by accused. In which section of Indian Evidence Act plea of alibi laid down? section 11 the plea can succeed only if it shown that the accused was so far away the relevant time that he could not present at a place where crime was committed the supreme court of india's observation was reference to the plea of alibi the question is whether the murder of x was committed by y The fact that Y produced the admission slip of the hospital indicating dislocation of his hip bone during the period of Ali's murder. Which one among the following is correct provision under Indian Evidence Act relevant under which it is relevant? Section 11. Under under which section of Indian Evidence Act the word fact otherwise relevant became uh, the fact otherwise relevant became relevant are provided section 11 the question is whether a committed a crime at lucknow on certain day the fact that on that day a was at delhi is relevant fact under which one of the following section of indian evidence act section 11 alibi is governed by section 11 of evidence act which section of evidence act is called red should is free section dealing with the relevancy of fact section 11 there is a charge upon a committing murder at kolkata on certain day he take plea that on that day he was at lord This statement of A is relevant under which section of the Evidence Act? Section 11. Fact which is inconsistent with any fact in issue are relevant on the basis of plea of alibi. The case Dudh Nath Pandey v. State of UP is related to plea of alibi. under which provision of indian evidence act the accused may please tell by section 11 in which section of indian evidence act those condition are mentioned when fact otherwise relevant are relevant section 11 definition of alibi is governed by section 11 of evidence act Which one of the following statements as per the provisions of Indian Evidence Act 1882 is not correct? A is not correct. B is correct, C is correct, D is correct. Fact not otherwise relevant are relevant if by themselves or in connection with other fact they make existence and non-existence of any fact in issue or relevant fact highly probable and improbable. any fact is relevant 
we show or constitute a motive or preparation for any fact in issue or relevant fact. Admission are not conclusive proof of matter admitted, but they may operate as a stopper under the provision of Indian Evidence Act 1872. Section 11 of Indian Evidence Act enables a person charged with crime to take what is commonly called the plea of alibi. Alibi is governed by Section 11 of Indian Evidence Act. The question is whether A committed a crime at Kolkata on certain day. Fact that on that day A was at Lahore irrelevant is a as as it make existence of fact in issue highly improbable. The question is whether A committed a crime at Kolkata on certain day. In answer to this question, which one of the following fact is relevant? That A out of that days at Mumbai. The question is whether A committed a murder of Chad on a particular day at Amravati. The fact that on that day A was at Delhi is relevant. Under Evidence Act, the defense of plea of alibi of an accused is relevant in Section 11. Which one of the following statement is correct? The alibi under Section 11 of Indian Evidence Act 1882 is decided on the basis of preponderance of probability. Alibi is governed by Section 11 of Indian Evidence Act. One out one of the question whether A was committed by B. One of the question whether a crime was committed by A on that day at Chandigarh, the fact that on that day he was at Kolkata is relevant because inconsistent of the fact in issue. The question is whether A was committed murder of B at Delhi. On certain day, the fact that on A was at Mumbai relevant under Section 11 of Indian Evidence Act. Under the Indian Evidence Act, fact otherwise relevant are relevant if they inconsistent with any fact in issue or relevant fact, if they make existence of non-existence of fact in issue or relevant fact highly probable or improbable. The stipulation as to fact which enable the court to determine the amount of damage are relevant are incorporated in that section dash section 12 of evidence act which section of indian evidence act lays down that rule regarding the fact and the right and customs are in question section 13 e marriage was solemnized in general customary form what is the rule of proving that it is legal wedlock. The customs shall provide the evidence. The court shall take cognizance of the notice of system. The court shall evaluate the effect of custom and general public. The fact showing the existence of any state of mind under section 14 of the Indian Evidence Act related to intention, knowledge, good faith. E is accused of defaming B by publishing the imputation intended harm the reputation of B. The fact of previous publicity of A respecting B showing ill will on the part of A toward B is relevant as proving intention to the harms B's reputation. Which one of the following does not find a mention as to show the state of mind under section 14 of Indian Evidence Act motive? Under which one of the following section of Indian Evidence that previous conviction of person is relevant? Explanation 2 of section 14. The fact saying the existence of any state of mind under section 14 of Indian Evidence Act is related to 
intention, knowledge, good faith. A is accused of receiving stolen property, knowing them to be stolen. The above illustration is of Section 14 of Indian Evidence Act, which, when the previous commission by the accused of the offence is relevant, the previous conviction of such person is also re- relevant fact. It was laid down in the Section Dash of the Indian Evidence Act, Section 14, Explanation 2. In the Indian Evidence Act, previous conviction of the person is not relevant under which one of the following section? Section 14, Explanation 2. Under Section 14 of Indian Evidence Act, which one of the following became relevant, namely fact showing state of mind, fact showing state of body, fact showing state of bodily feeling. Which one of the following state of mind has not been expressly mentioned in Section 14 of Indian Evidence Act? Motive. Section 14 of Indian Evidence Act made relevant of the fact shown in the existence of either state of body or mind or both bodily feeling. A is tried for the murder of B by intentionally shooting him dead. The fact that A on the other occasion shoot B is relevant as to so intention to shoot B. Section 27 of Indian Evidence Act applies to when the person giving information is the accused of police custody. A is tried for murder of B intentionally shooting him dead. A is tried for murder of B intentionally shooting him dead. The fact that A was a habit of shooting at people when intention to the murder them is irrelevant fact. Which one of the following does not find a mention as showing state of mind under Section 14 of Evidence Act motive? What does the term existence of a state of mind denotes under Section 14 of Indian Evidence Act? Intention, negligence, good faith. Which one of the following fact is not relevant under Indian Evidence Act? Where the accused was charged for the murder of facts, the fact of accused was a habit of shooting the people. The fact showing the existence of any state of mind under Section 14 of Indian Evidence Act is related to intention, knowledge, good faith. The birds in the bath case is based on the Section of Evidence Act, Section 15. The question is whether the particular letter reached A. The fact that it was posted in due course and was not returned through the dead letter office is are relevant. Admission can be oral or written. Which one of the following statement is correct? Admission could be oral or documentary. Which one of the following statement is correct? Admission is acknowledgement of right and liability and the civil liability made by conduct of oral or in writing or containing in electronic form. Which one of the following section of Indian Evidence Act define admission? Section 17. An admission under section 17 of Indian Evidence Act is oral documentary statement contained in electronic form. Under the provision of Indian Evidence Act, Admission and the confession has a different meaning. Which one of the following statement is to admission? Not conclusively proof of matter, but operate as a total certain provision of evidence act. Which one of the following statement is correct? Admission may be oral documentary contained in electronic form. An admission statement made by the oral form documentary form electronic form.